at Mobile Congress 2024, Lenovo has one of the coolest, most futuristic and visionary products that we've ever seen. But instead of just talking about it, let me actually show you what it looks like in person. Not bad, huh? So this is Project Crystal. And right away, it's something that looks like it came straight out of Minority Report. And obviously, the star of the show right here is this micro LED transparent display. And it just looks incredible. Obviously, if I put my hand behind it, you can see right through it. There is a little bit of a tint to it, which you know we've seen on other transparent displays, including Samsung and LG's transparent displays from CES. Now, Lenovo has said they have no plans to bring this to market. They have no plans to turn this into a retail device. This was strictly a concept that that was commissioned by the ThinkPad and the ThinkBook teams to really see what Lenovo could do, not only with transparent display technology, but also there's a little bit of AI integration as you'd expect from pretty much every new laptop these days. But it's really just to kind of test, hey, here's something just wild, completely off the wall, and let's see what we can do. The more important thing is, is it's actually super bright. And even in this early stage, Brightness goes up to about a thousand nits and they're saying peak brightness can go all the way up to 3000 nits. So we're talking about a super, super bright display. So if I pull up this video, I mean, look at that. You can see right through it. It's a really, really interesting effect. And then if we, you know, go over here and browse over to Engadget, look how bright that is. This is actually almost too bright. I don't know how much this is coming across on camera. I think this might actually be blowing out the sensor on our camera right now. That's how bright it is compared to the ambient lighting in the room. Now, you'll notice that there is no contrast panel in the background, so anyone on the other side can clearly see what you're doing, but Lenovo is thinking about ways to kind of solve that, either by adding a, an extra layer in back that would you know, add a black panel behind it, or maybe a physical panel of some sort that's still to be determined. And if you look real, real close, you'll notice that the resolution isn't super high. You also notice that I'm not talking about specs with this thing because, hey, this is a concept device. This is actually using some of some last gen components because you've got to use something as a base to start building the concept with. And then on the bottom, they have a new interpretation of Lenovo's classic Halo keyboard. So it's fully touch. But one interesting thing is, is that, like I said before, with that integration of AI, Lenovo is hoping that AI might be able to solve one of the issues with touch keyboards because, hey, if you have AI, it can maybe learn over time that if you usually press I when you want to press U, it'll learn that and it can correct that automatically. So even if you're pressing the completely wrong key, it knows what you want to hit. So that's a really cool potential use of AI. Now, another use of AI is that if I can very gingerly flip it around to the back, you'll notice that there is a camera right here. And so Lenovo is you know, kind of thinking about use cases. And so it's kind of similar to apps like Google Lens. You might be able to take a plant right here and put it behind the camera. And then, hey, what kind of plant is this? What species is it? And maybe you, know, you get some watering tips on how to take care of uh, you know, something that you have no idea what it actually is. And that's one potential use case of that camera in back and that AI integration. Now, while we're spinning this thing around, I want to just do a side shot because I think the profile of this machine is absolutely incredible. You see how extremely thin this transparent panel is. Now, like I said, it is a concept stage, so a lot of the software is unfinished and there's not a ton of ports. I think there's two total ports on the entire machine. And then even stuff like this, where it's like, if I start to bring it down here and I let go, it'll kind of just close. So like I said, very early stages, so don't you know take any of the software and stuff like that as final. Now, a lot of people are probably asking, well, what's the point of having a transparent panel? Now, yes, this is a micro LED transparent panel, so it's super expensive. Lenovo wouldn't even put a ballpark on how much it costs to build this thing. But I can say this is one of four concepts in the entire world with this display. And so we're talking about really limited, really cutting edge technology here. And so they're thinking, you know, one potential use case of a transparent panel like this is that, hey, if you go to a hotel or a doctor's office, instead of having to flip an entire monitor around, you could just have a software button in the laptop and then have it automatically rotate. And then that way the doctor or the clerk or whoever could kind of diagram you and show you, hey, what's wrong with your bill? What's, you know, what are you looking at in terms of a medical chart? without having to flip it around. Now, that is a lot of money to spend on a use case like that. Swiveling displays have existed for a while, but hey, once again, I really love that Lenovo is thinking way, way outside the box with this thing, and I'm never gonna fault a company for coming out with a really interesting concept device.
There are also some potential AR applications because once again, if you take advantage of that camera in the back, you can use that to recognize objects and then kind of do some sort of AR graphics and stuff like that. So once again, while Lenovo doesn't have any concrete plans to put this thing into production anytime soon, I really love what they're doing here by giving us what is essentially a glimpse of the future with Project Crystal. Of course, in addition to Project Crystal, Lenovo has a bunch of other, you know, more traditional laptop updates for MWC 2024. Now, in addition to new Intel Core Ultra processors across the entire line, right here we have the ThinkBook 14 2-in-1 Gen 4. The big new feature for this thing is that Lenovo has actually increased the key travel up to 1.5 millimeters, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but at the same time, every laptop manufacturer these days seems to be going thinner and thinner, so it's nice to get a little bit more cushion in the key travel. Next, we have the ThinkPad X12 Detachable, and this is the first update it's gotten in about three years. Now, in addition to a bunch of updated components, it also has a new 16 by 10 display, and you're probably thinking, that doesn't sound like a big deal, and it's not really. But remember, Lenovo has already updated almost all of its laptops to be 16 by 10, and now the ThinkPad X12 Detachable is getting the same treatment. And then over here, on the left, we have the ThinkPad T16 Gen 3, and on the right, we have the ThinkPad T14 Gen 5. So some small updates in addition to new processors and memory is that they finally switched the control and the function keys to more align with what you expect from other manufacturers. So just be a little bit easier to use. Although there is a little nub on that function key. So even people that are, you know, have trouble with vision can still find it very easily. Lenovo has also added a quick shortcut command that you can access by double tapping the ThinkPad nub right here. Now we've seen this before on previous laptops like the Z13, but basically it's a shortcut to a lot of your multimedia functions, camera, microphone, voice typing. So we're just talking about a little bit of added functionality for that ThinkPad nub. But the big update with the T-Series is that Lenovo is doing quite a bit to improve the repairability and the serviceability of these new laptops. So as you can see right here, if you wanna access the keyboard, super simple, there's two screws right here and Lenovo has switched over from Torx to Phillips head screws, so super easy to repair, you don't need any special screwdrivers. And then if we can take this back cover off, you'll see that a lot of the user replaceable components, like the memory, are very clearly labeled. You see there's a dim label right here, and if I can take this off, hey, look at that. It's not soldered on. If you wanna change out the RAM, super easy to do so. They've also done some smaller tweaks, like making the battery gray, so it just stands out a little bit more, so you know that like, hey, this is a very important component, don't mess with it too much. And then they've also done some other smaller things, like there's a new daughter board over here for the ports. So in the event that you need to repair uh, some of the ports, you don't have to replace the entire motherboard, you can just replace that smaller daughter board. Finally, one tiny detail that I really appreciate is Lenovo is switching over to captive screws, so that you can see, even if I touch on it, the screw doesn't fall out on its own. It's captive within the deck of the laptop so that, hey, when you're replacing it and you shake it around, you're not gonna have to worry about losing those screws. Okay, I know that Lenovo has a bunch of new laptops at Mobile World Congress, but let's be honest, the thing that I really care about is Project Crystal because that thing just looks so damn cool. I don't even care if there's practical use cases for that transparent OLED the panel or not because it just looks awesome and I wanna know more about it. And even though Lenovo does say that they don't have any plans to make this into a retail unit, I'm hoping that they keep working on it because I would love to see this thing come to market someday, maybe not now, maybe not next year, but in the future. But that's it for us today with Lenovo at Mobile World Congress. For more, as always, stay tuned to Engadget and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more news, reviews, and videos real soon.